All right, welcome to Retro Gaming Online, and today we have some Video Games Monthly unboxings. We didn't get last month's episode recorded, so today we'll have both our January boxes and our February boxes. So I brought a bigger table, because <laughs> I don't think the old table was going to work. And uh, so we should have a ton of games for you. Uh, if you're not sure what R Video Games Monthly is, it's a subscription service that sends uh, retro g video games to your door monthly. You pick the systems, you make a wish list, you, put them, you tell them the games that you already have so that they don't send you doubles, and uh, they show up at your door the first week of each month. And we've been doing it for almost three years now, and, um, you know, we enjoy it. We I like the mystery. I like getting the box and discovering what's inside. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like walking into the, the, the game store and not knowing what's going to be there and you find uh, surprises. So if you like what you see, click the link down in the description and check them out. Uh, also, uh, before we get started, check out the link in our description for our podcast. We have like three episodes now. Uh, we'll be adding more sometime soon. Um, check that out and then subscribe to our channel. But I guess we'll get started. Um, you want to go first with sure. January? Yeah. We're going to do January first, and then we'll do February. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. Just a uh, reminder. Reminder. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, Streets of Rage two for the Sega Genesis. That's one of my favorite Genesis games ever. Did they redo that on the Xbox or something? Just they re they released they re released it. I don't know if they redid it. Got a little uh, thing in there. So we got oh, bases loaded. NES. That's actually one of the first games I ever owned as a kid. Really? It was bases loaded? Yeah, I played that game so much. Jex Three, Deep Cover Gecko. I played the the older ones of those. I never actually played that one. Is there aren't were they like Spyro kind kind of running I, around? I think so. I like the, I never really played them. So the Super Nintendo, I shifted more towards the PlayStation at that point. Oh really? The, so I did. I mean, I'm sorry. The Nintendo 64. I like. I played the big games. The you know the Zelda's, the Mario R. Or no, um, Kart. The Zelda's, Mario Kart, yeah. Golden Eye. Um, but I kind of shifted yeah, more. Golden Eye was like the only game that for 64 for the longest time I ever played. Yeah, is all I know. And then the rest. Oh, of nice. Them. Yeah. Anthology still in the wrapper. Oh, goodness. Wow. That's actually pretty Let cool. Let me say, I'm actually I'm a huge Final Fantasy. That is nerd, that's awesome, so. man. Oh, and I got a pencil. <laughs> that's Sweet. Sweet. That's a Super Mario pencil too. That that's awesome. awesome. <laughs> so this has five and six. So six is Final Fantasy three. Five is I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy two. That's awesome. And it's a wrapper. Yeah, that's shrink sick. wrapper, whatever they call it. See, I'd be hard pressed not to pull that thing out and play it. That's that's awesome. Better make sure you have at least two or three spare memory cards. I know, right? Let's. <laughs> yeah. Why does it say two player? One or, one or two player? I don't know. Did they adapt them to two player? Mm, I don't remember. That's weird. I don't know. I have no idea. Hmm. All right, let's jump into my January box. So we'll pull out the cards. Nice. One, one up. up. Mm. So they they. Uh, Every once in a while, we'll send you out extra games. Sometimes you get a one-up, a two-up, a three-up. They have a partner pack, which they hand-select each game. Usually that's like a three or four-up. Um, so, yeah, I'll get an extra game in this box. First game is a Super Nintendo game. Oh, Yoshi's Cookie. Nice. Let's see how long we go before they fall. A Nintendo Soccer. Soccer. Nice. I like to collect the black box series, and this is a Ooh, that's five a five screw. screw. So I don't think I have the five screw version of this yet. It's in good shape too. All right. And I also got a sweet wristband. Bart versus the world. I own this one. <clears throat> As well, no, I own Bart versus the Space Mutants. So a funny story is, is uh, I wanted Bart versus Space Mutants, and uh, when I went to go get it, I didn't couldn't remember what it was called. <laughs> so I wound up picking that up. Mm -hmm. Boy, was I disappointed when I got home. <laughs> and this was like a later release, or because it has like a, 
it has a really shitty label. Like, it's almost impossible to find this game with a good label on it. Like, if you feel them, they're like paper. Oh, yeah, no. Like, it's not the it's not oh. really the good glossy. It's like almost as if somebody put a paper sticker on there. Well, it matches the quality of the game. Yeah, yeah the game was a... Uh, I don't know. I didn't care for it. I mean, there was no good Simpsons games. They were all kind Except of... Except the arcade. Yeah, the arcade. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't take the arcade. Oh, Tetris 2. I think I have that for the NES. I don't think I have it for the... Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Someone stole your back. I wonder if this is a reproduction... Like a, a replacement cartridge, because it feels weird, and there's no sticker on the back. Like, just yeah. feel it. Yeah, but it's got the Nintendo label. I don't know. They definitely replaced the back, because it's two totally different color tones. I don't know if you could see that. Not... I, you know, Video Games Monthly probably didn't replace the back, but someone at, at some time definitely put some work into this one. That'll complete my Tetris 2 home console collection. I mean, they have like four copies of that. Yeah. Maybe one. The Chess Master. Ultimate chess partner with 16 levels of play to instruct beginners and challenge grandmasters. Nice. I rented this a couple of times. I know that sounds... About as nerdy as you can get. But. Yeah, that, that, yeah, we'll leave it at that, Brad. <laughs> when I was in middle school, yeah. I, I got really into chess. Now, battle chess is different because yeah. that, isn't that the one where they have like they go and they, they fight play. each other? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like Harry Potter style. Yeah, yeah. And then I got a pencil as well. Super Mario. Alrighty, let's see. All right, same, please. Update. I think it was like my third wristband I've gotten from them. Yeah, they've given a few. I liked the the, the multi. Didn't wasn't there a multicolored one? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So first game is awesome. Oh, Beavis and Butthead for the Super Nintendo. Yeah. See, look, mine's a little different. You can have it all. Oh, it's yeah. all etched in the back. Oh yeah. Which oh. I know you won't be able to see there. You got another one right there. But that oh, one has that one has a sticker on it. So yeah. one has a sticker, one has nothing, and one has writing etched instead of a sticker. Yeah. I've never paid that much attention to the back of a wow. Super Nintendo games. Right, hmm. so there. Next up, uh, the MTV theme, uh, Remote Control. Nice. Is that like a game show? Yeah, I think it's like a quiz game. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. yeah. It's like pop culture and everything, I think. <laughs> From when? <laughs> From probably 1990. Nice. Yeah. Ninja Gaiden. Is that the first one? Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. I, I I always it's wanted pretty clean. It's like really clean. I always wanted to love that game, but it was just I so was so hard. bad at it. Yeah. 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 Like the first five, maybe fifteen seconds, it's like, wait, this is really cool. And yeah. then you die and then you're like, I hate this game. Oh, wall jumping was so great. Uh <laughs> not anymore. Mm -hmm. And lastly, return a super Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Nice. Yeah. I've like, like five cool games, but the, hard as hell. Yeah, I have like five copies of Super Star Wars. <laughs> oh yeah, remember right? There's two different versions. Yeah, I have multiples of each. Well, yeah, that with the old sticker background there and that too. That one has a sticker. So I wonder if this uh, one's just didn't. I, I don't rem I don't actually remember that game. I remember the like I said the Super Star Wars, but I don't remember that one too specifically. And the star pencil. Did you get the same one. I got this. Oh, this guy has his no, blue yours tip. is different. Oh, my! Oh, I got a blue tip. What color oh, is your tip? Cool. Oh, you got yellow. Nice. Yeah, I have Mario and Luigi. Oh, mine's uh, like horizontal like this, and yours is more vertical. Yeah. Cool. Like, use a pencil. Slide I wonder if these are number two. Twenty seventeen. Not talking. Most to him. pencils number two. I, I've never seen a non-number two pencil, but we're gonna stop and <laughs> hold on, man. We gotta find out these are number twos. Yeah, mine's <laughs> just twenty seventeen. 2017 edition. Well, the Scantron paper can only read number two. Right? Yeah. yeah. They even use those anymore? Yeah. Do yeah. they? All right, so we're going to go into February's box. And Steve's is so pot yeah. packed. Dude, mine is open. like, look at this thing. It's like it's serious. Bulging. That's a good sign. I, I, so I, guess, with fun. I guess a like <laughs> full-on <laughs> Genesis game in the case. That's my Dude, guess. Dude, I can barely get it open here. Oh! Partner pack! Nice! Nice! Oh, oh snap! Power yes. up. So basically, the uh, the I mentioned this earlier, but the found the founders of the company basically hand select these games. That means they're gonna be good. Usually, there's a few, only a few of them per month. 
Alright, what's this? What's this? Oh, this is that uh, magazine. The I want to check this out. So I'm glad they sent like a copy because I want to see it. I'll have to check that out here in a bit. You can check it out. Pretty cool. Here we go. Drum roll. Space Invaders. Nice. I was just playing that at the arcade the other day. That looks cool. I saw oh, this really super. cool. Somebody was painting their their game room, and they put they took like post-it notes, like square stickers, and put them on the wall to make this uh, space invaders oh, really? game, and then painted over it. So oh, then when you peel nice. the stickers off, it's still there. It was oh, really cool, cool looking. Crash Bandicoot too. Nice. That's a good classic game. Oh yeah, Sweet. I love the Crash. That's Bandicoot. not the lay down. That's not gonna stand. No, don't even try. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, oh, oh i gotta get it back in there grand theft auto oh <laughs> for the playstation that was an og grand theft auto yeah that's the that's the, that's the, that's the old yeah uh hover above yeah that's also I, I remember playing this game i mean i was obviously too young to probably actually play that game but <laughs> i played the crap out of it and i loved it and and no one at the time none of my friends had ever heard of it yeah like same everybody with me. was like what is that and it, and it looked the graphics kind of sucked because it was before. overhead yeah, yeah it was like violent Sims you didn't City. really know what was going on like you just were running around and you would get in a car the police car was like the one to get it because it was fast yeah i think there was like a broken bridge yeah at that point it yeah. was it was awesome i got a box got a box side pocket and you're Steve used to be a pool uh, professional. Yeah, long ago. Nice. Manual and all. Complete. That's awesome. That's the one thing about Genesis games, though. That's one reason why I can't That's really get game. into connecting them or collecting them is because I feel like I have to have all the boxes because you can't collect them because they don't eh. stack well. Yeah, they don't stack well it, but at all. They're they're just crap unless they have the box. <gasps> Dig Dug too. That's awesome. So I actually bought one of these on eBay and when it was delivered to me the case was completely crushed I remember you showing me you that remember that yeah and that this was this game so I never got a new case for it it was always it's just broken so this will complete that nice that's awesome I loved Dig Dug Dig Dug we used to play on my my uh, cousin he, he had he had a old Hewlett Packard computer and had like Load Runner oh and yeah had Dig Dug on there and we used to play the crap out of that game he also had this game where you had to fly this helicopter and you would drop bombs and then I think you would pick up, you would like rescue people. Choplifter? Maybe. I don't even remember the name. Yeah, Choplifter, of it. My, my stepdad had that on his ar uh, arcade. Yeah. I, I remember playing that in arcade. Woo! Super Pitfall. Nice. I never played that on the Nintendo. You know what one I have? I have the one for the, um, the Super, Super Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got, that was like my one of my first Super Nintendo games. Yeah, that was a big deal when it came out for Super Nintendo. Like I'm, everybody was. I'm going to be blocking in. And there's still one more game left. Like, we are. This is super partner packed. pack, man. Hey, you Pikachu. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. I nice did. kids game there. I never got Those into ones? Pokemon. and I feel like I really would like it because I'm into um, I'm into RPGs wow. and all that kind of stuff. But I, I was a little too old when the Pokemon, Pokemon thing really game. went crazy. I just have to ask. I don't know how they packed all that in here. <laughs> I mean... Seriously? <laughs> they took every available Dang. inch in that box. Well, I mean, the Tetris skills, you know? Yeah, Tetris. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, box number two. This is for February. Well, I can't, can't compare to that box, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, we got the Old School Gamer magazine. I don't even know. Oh, look at that. That, that reminds me of the old... Old uh, ads that used to be in the magazines. Good old KB toys. Yeah, I used to go down. I used to walk down to Rite Aid every month and buy like the new video game magazine. Remember, yeah. remember those things they would send home with you at school that school you would buy books? books. Yeah, yeah, and they had the video game cheat books in there. <laughs> oh, somebody yeah. posted something on Facebook with that, and I was like, "Holy crap! I probably have all those." Because every time I got one, I was like, "My grandma would be like, nah." I need that. Yeah, of like, course. I don't need none of these real books. No, I don't need a book. I need <laughs> that book. Can I get that money order for a dollar ninety. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drop it off at the librarian so she'll order the book for me. It's fifteen dollars. Oh, nice. Rad yeah. Racer Two. That's really clean. Yeah, it is. This one can have. You can find some crappy labels for this one too. I remember when we played Rad Racer One. Yeah, no. Rad Racer was one of the first. One. Uh, one of the first after it was one of the first games I played on 
the Nintendo as well. I never actually played Ride Racer 2. No? No, never played it. Oh, nice. Street Fighter 2. No, that's a game I remember playing. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm not big into fighting games, but I Street Fighter was my favorite. Okay. Um, for some reason, I, I, Mortal Kombat was okay, but I, I Mortal didn't Kombat like... Mortal Kombat 1 was my favorite. I didn't like the animations. I thought they looked uh, like crap. Uh, the, so I liked the the cartoon, the cartoon animations. Rather than the live action convert. Yeah. We got a lot Mortal of games on here. That's... Mortal Kombat 2 is my favorite fighter. No, oh. That's a great game. Rolling Thunder. I just like... I want to collect all the Tengen cartridges. So I've that rented works. that a lot from the... Brooklyn video. Brooklyn video. I remember, I literally, rem when I looked at that, my first thing that came to my head was the Brooklyn video <laughs> wall and the, the, that box sitting there. That, and for some reason I picture Stunt, uh, I think it was Stunt Racer? Stunt Racer for the, it was for the um, Super Nintendo. Oh, Super Nintendo. And you could do um, yeah. the loop-de-loop -loop mm -hmm. thing. I think and you would Stunt crash Racer. and the car would explode. Yeah. I don't know why I remember just those two. But. And then, no, oh, Home Alone 2. I'm alone too. Nice. There's some really nice looking cartridges today too. All right, we didn't leave Mark much room to put his games on there. <laughs> I know, right? Let's see how this rolls out. All right, here. Oh, nice. One up. There we go. All right. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's just get, get rid of these here. Not really that real estate. Also got the same old magazine. Not old, but new. Yeah, I used to go down to uh, Rite Aid and buy my magazines. I never bought Nintendo Power, though, because my buddy up the street had a subscription. Yeah, my buddy had a so. And he got rid of them. Great magazines. I was so, he, he, like, he literally I, I reached out to him recently. I was like, hey, man, you still got these magazines? Nope. I was like, oh. It's like uh, Gradius 3. Oh, nice. Let's put that. I guess that'll be our Super Nintendo section. Wario's Woods. Nice, wasn't it? Is that the... Uh, it's like a puzzle game. But that's... Is that the game that's the last release on the system? Might be. Yeah, I'd I think it is. I think I have like two or three copies of this. I don't know. This came out in 91. Yeah, I don't know. One, I wanted, I'm pretty sure one of the Wario's is... One of the Wario games is the last one. No, it was the last one released on the NES. Oh. Uh, that's okay. what it was. Uh, and then uh, Super Caesar's Palace. I always had a weird thing for... Casino, casino games. games. Yeah, me too. We would go to my yeah, aunt's house. I actually enjoyed that game. We would go to my aunt's really? house and I would rent yeah, that. Yeah, it was a fun game. And I would rent uh, Wall Street. What was it? Wall Street Kid. Yeah, Wall it was Street so. Kid. Like, I never played Wall Street Kid. It was, I don't know why, but I used to. I used to rent that. Uh, pro wrestling. That, that was my great. first wrestling game. Was it? Yeah, was that was my Star first Man. and my favorite game until. Actually, we'll put it in until Tecmo. Tecmo, Tecmo wrestling. wrestling. Tecmo Wrestling was good. Oh, really? It was very good. And uh, lastly there, we got uh, Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Classic Bigfoot. game. It's got an old video store label Ooh, on the back. back. <coughs> Halfway peeled off. So that's your video store. Tag yourself. That's awesome. Uh, I, used to, I, I liked that game, too. 1985 classic release there. From Acclaim, the makers of Airwolf. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there we have it. That's a that is a bunch of video games, games there. Um, wow. So yeah, we're gonna take a few minutes to figure out what who's is who again, and then uh, pack this all up. But if you like what you see, please check the link uh, for Video Games Monthly. Please subscribe to our channel and check out our podcast and check us out on Facebook, uh, Facebook.com/slash/RetroGamingOnline. But uh, until next month, later. See you. Have fun.